Now it's very simple to do. All you gotta do is navigate over to the website that I'll leave down below in the description, which is gonna be Pangu's website. And from there, all you gotta do is click on the download link. Now this is currently available on Windows only, but if you are running a Mac, you can also use a virtual machine, which is actually what I am doing. So if you know how to run a virtual machine, go ahead and run Windows and then you'll be able to take advantage of this jailbreak tool. Now hopefully soon there's gonna be a Mac version, but for now, like I said, there's only a Windows version. Once you go ahead and download that, you'll be good to go. Now another thing that I would highly suggest is to back up your device in iTunes. So all you gotta do is plug in your device and open up iTunes and hit backup now either to your computer or back it up using iCloud. Of course, backing it up to your computer would be the fastest and easiest way. Another thing is if you did update your device from 9.0 to 9.0.1 I will highly suggest to go ahead and restore using iTunes, that way you have a fresh install and that way you will avoid any type of errors or issues. So once you have your device backed up to iTunes, we are ready to begin. So once you have your device backed up to iTunes, go ahead and open up the Pangu jailbreak tool. Now I'm going to be running as an administrator so I will avoid any type of issues or anything like that. Now once you have that open, go ahead and plug in your device to your computer and make sure it detects it of course. Here I'm gonna be jailbreaking my iPhone 6S and it is running 9.0.2. Now before we do start the jailbreak process, head over to your device and go into your settings and be sure to disable Touch ID and Passcode so I have that disabled already. Make sure you turn off Passcode and Touch ID. After that, go ahead and make sure Find My iPhone is disabled now if you are signed into iCloud it will be there but I am actually signed out so of course find my iPhone is not going to be here uh, but go ahead and sign out at iCloud or just disable find my iPhone. I found it easier to just sign out at iCloud. And after that there's one last step and that is to go ahead and set your device into airplane mode. So go ahead and turn on airplane mode here and then we are ready to go. So we can go ahead and hit start on our computer. Now this screen is going to let us know to go ahead and back up your device to iTunes and all that, put in the airplane mode. So we already did that, so you'll just go ahead and hit already backed up and then the jailbreak will begin. So it's going to take a couple minutes to go ahead and process, so just sit back and let it do its thing. So your device will reboot, which is a good sign. And then you will notice that it says to please unlock the device and enable airplane mode again. So go ahead and uh, unlock your device and be sure to enable airplane mode once again. And then, uh, it'll go ahead and keep doing the jailbreak process. So once it hits 75%, it says to please unlock the device and run the Pangu app. So you'll scroll over to the right until you find the Pangu application. And you will notice that there's the WWDC is pretty odd but uh, go ahead and open up the Pangu application here and then it's going to say to please follow the displayed instructions and allow it to access photos which is also another thing that's different here so we'll go ahead and accept that and hit ok and then again let it do its thing it's going to go ahead and upload the jailbreak resources um, and take a couple more minutes or seconds depending but go ahead and wait and uh, let it do its thing. Now your device will reboot and then Pangu will actually now say it's already jailbroken. So now that's an even better sign that it says that it's already jailbroken. Now once it hits the lock screen, we'll be able to go ahead and proceed with the next steps. So now it has rebooted. Now we'll go ahead and unlock it. And be sure to disable airplane mode because it won't be so we'll go ahead and turn that off. And now we scroll over to the right. And now we see Cydia down here. So all you gotta do is of course tap on Cydia. It's gonna go ahead and prepare the file system. And this may take a couple of minutes depending. And uh, once it goes ahead and prepares that file system, we'll be good to go. All right, so it's gone ahead and prepared their file system. And we can go ahead and unlock it after it reboots. Head on over to Cydia again by sliding over a couple pages. And then now you will see the Welcome to Cydia screen. 